I'm standing um, below the house on the slope. So it slopes down from the house. Okay. And so um, the yurt, I don't know if you can see the yellow string, but the yurt will go right there. And on this side, then, so here's where I would be facing the door of the yurt and um, the deck. So on this side, it's rocks and it'll be low and that's fine. But, you know, as we go from nine o'clock to this three o'clock side, this is the side that I'm most concerned about. And this is the side that's lower and it'll be, um, you know, six feet off the ground. And so I guess my thought is just like, would it be better to do the concrete pad so that it's not a whole bunch of wood sitting high and then a yurt um, in terms of fire stuff? Friends, here is a video to show you uh, the work that's been done so far, mainly uh, leveling the land where the yurt will go. So you could see from the previous video, all that um, land dirt was taken from that side and put on this side. And a bunch of rocks were removed from other parts of the land and the machinery you know, like drove through here. Um, and so things are looking a little messy, a little land's been excavated. And on this side, we've got, you know, uh, you know, a bit of a retaining wall um, to hold up this end with huge rocks. And so the next step is gonna be here. Um, is where the yurt will go, the flat you know, area. And I don't know if you can see the yellow string and the markings here. Um, but on this side, to hold back all of this um, dirt and earth, uh, the next step is to build a retaining wall um, with rocks and cement that they're gonna be bringing in. And then behind the retaining wall to build a sort of a French drain kind of system to, um, you know, hold the water um, and have it flow out to the sides. And then after that, we'll be um, creating, preparing this area for the concrete pad that the yurt will go on. And one thing, <laughs> this is such like an adventure in, you know, learning and adapting. So once the land was leveled, we realized that we have it would be a super tight spot for a 30 foot yurt. So we were able to um, then downsize it to a 27 foot yurt so that we'd have a bit more room on this side between you know the retaining wall and um, all of this um, ledge and the yurt. So I'll keep you all updated and, uh, and here's the beautiful I mean, I'm the sanctuary land. Say hello to the trees. <laughs>